Heavy rain and strong storms might continue well into this evening. This has to do with the fact that Hurricane Nate, or actually what's left of it, is just to our north and still a lot of rain bands extend from the center well into north central Florida, including Cedar Key, Gainesville, anywhere along the I-75 corridor where we did see some heavy rain today. The good news is rain chances do go down this evening. We still have about a 30% chance at 8 o'clock, but after that they do go down and we do dry out this evening evening. Still pretty muggy though with morning lows only getting to 75 degrees here in Gainesville. Tomorrow though will be dry to start, but rain showers do develop as we get into the afternoon hours. By 5 o'clock, Gainesville, Lake City, and Ocala, some heavy rain is possible. Some of these showers that develop. It's not going to be anything as widespread as we saw today, but still some showers and storms are possible going into your Monday afternoon. Now, besides that, it's going to be a pretty warm day across north central Florida with 90 degrees your high in Gainesville, 90 in Ocala, and 89 in Lake City. But when you factor in that heat index and how muggy it's going to feel after it rained, temperatures are going to feel like they're anywhere between 100 and 105 degrees across our area. Now, we are going to have those rain chances still elevated through Monday, and this is a result of a, of a southwest flow we're seeing from the remnants of Nate. Also from a high pressure system to our east, we do have a little bit of a merger of the sea breezes there. So as a result, rain chances will be elevated through Monday. Also, we are going to be feeling pretty hot here as our temperatures for heat index are going to be near 105 degrees. So that's what it's going to feel like when you factor in the heat and the humidity on top of the 90 degree heat. The good news is though, we do dry out by Tuesday as our rain chances go down. Right now, we're going to be continue to be draped with this tropical moisture through Monday, but by the middle of the week, we see some drier air moving in from the east, and this has to do with high pressure building, but this is going to have an impact on our rain chances and our temperatures. We're going to dry out, but it's also not going to feel as sticky as it has the last couple of days. Now, for the middle of the week, we do dry out through Thursday, but then by the weekend, our rain chances do pick up once again.